Hello YouTube, Dakota from Botab Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that, well, came out this week in EDM. We have got 23 songs from this past week, and I thought it was a really solid week, not gonna lie, a lot of good stuff. And so uh, let's hop right into it with the bad category. And just remember, these are all just my opinions, so if I think a song is bad, it doesn't necessarily make it a bad song, it's just my opinion. Uh, but we've got Subtronics and Excision with Asteroid. Uh, even for the huge sounds of Bro Step and Britom, uh, this just isn't really it for me. Uh, the melody feels half-baked and the whole song is this overwhelming sense of weakness to it which should be a fairly dominating track in itself and it just isn't so i'm not a fan of that one and then we got Zar Larson and David Guetta with On My Love. Uh, this song just feels really empty, I must say. The vocals, the beat, it's all just a drag. Um, it's not like egregiously that bad, but definitely not worth revisiting anytime soon. And then we've got uh, meh, the meh category songs that I thought were uh, just meh. We've got Samplifier with Firestorm. The Firestorm EP is here now, and uh, I do think the little play on kind of Darude Sandstorm's um, kind of song with Firestorm and the kind of ode to it in the middle of the track is kind of fun, uh, a little cute and clever, but uh, sadly for me, the kind of one-two rhythm is just not it for me, just the tung, tung, like it's just, yeah, not, not for me, so... Uh, then we got Just Kidding, Ready to Love, new Monster Cat artist debut. Uh, but this is just kind of your standard slap house track for me. I didn't really find anything too crazy about it. Um, not really loving these sort of simplistic instinct tracks as of late. Um, I'm sure they do well numbers wise and bring in a lot of new people to Monster Cat. But um, for me personally, I just find they're not, do not doing a ton for me. So that's that. Uh, and then we're moving into Pegboard Nerds and Sofon and Cyrene, I want to say, featuring Ina Bravo with Superpower, the Stone Bank remix. Oh my gosh, a lot here. The Nerd Nation Mega Club uh, just got a lot bigger with this uh, Stone Bank remix. And um, that being said, this is pretty much a standard happy hardcore track with Stone Bank's classic synth sounds um, and not too much my cup of tea. So uh, yeah, didn't really find that one too crazy. Uh, and then we got Andromeda featuring MC Stretch with To The Dark, a uh, very Eurocentric drum and bass tune here, uh, with not a ton of kind of oomph for me, I would say. Uh, it's a pretty clean and safe track, all things considered, but it just didn't really grip me. Um, but yeah, not a bad track at all. Now we've got A5 and Crystal Skies with Waiting. Uh, the final single before the album is here on Ophelia, and this is a fascinating song for me personally because I think it sounds... Oh, so similar to all the melodic dubstep that I don't really care for. Uh, so I can, yeah, I, I can hear what makes this unique and special as an AU5 track and the production quality and the sound design. Um, but it's just that same overused structure that I really don't love. And I think I'm realizing now it, that's what it is. When it comes to this melodic dubstep, and the reason I haven't loved it so much is just because of it, how same, samey the structure is. It's the same thing over and over again with the same song, just slightly different tones. And so, um, yeah, not really my style. Oh, so that's why I'm putting it here in meh. Um, and up next, we've got the good category. We've got 16 songs in good this week. No standout, sadly. No, um, none of that. But uh, tons of good tracks. And so I thought this was a marvelous week in EDM. But uh, yeah, we've got Wales with uh, Lost Control. The Two Worlds Apart album is out now. And this is a shorter, just kind of under two minute track. And um, I'm kind of teetering the line on this for me between in good and meh. But uh, I did enjoy it in the end. Um, yeah, it's relatively simplistic. Uh, but yeah, it's just chill and has a fairly standard structure that sounds pretty good to me so i'll choose to be more optimistic about this track and i have not given the whole album a listen yet Next, we've got Drizo and Eddie with Nonstop. Uh, some big sounding mid-tempo bass here. And uh, yeah, it's not the most out there track, but I thought it was pretty solid. Uh, Drizo or Drezzo, I'm not sure to say exactly, uh, typically has a very minimalistic structure to his tracks. And with the kind of hints of Eddie's sound design, I think it was a good match. So I like that track. We've got Peekaboos and Zed's Dead uh, Scared. This is a kind of a uh, fun one. It's got a wonky bass line, um, and that's pretty much the name of the game with this track. Uh, it feels very natural for the team up of these two producers to have this kind of sound. And um, yeah, again, not really super out of this world, but I did think it was uh, a good track worth listening then we've got G. Jones with uh, Remnant. Um, very, very approach approachable G. Jones track. Um, if you kind of think his stuff is a little bit too intense or out there or weird experimental for you, uh, give this one a go. It's uh, a quaint little track that is got some, or it's got some fun melodies and sound design to it, but a very, very approachable uh, for G. Jones for sure. 
Then we've got Sun Hello featuring Bipolar Sunshine with Light Only. The Existential Dance Music LP is out now, and I want to share my opinions on this track more in a upcoming video, which I have, uh, I'm ready to put up soon. Um, so uh, stick around, and I'm sure at this point you can go watch the Sun Hello video um, if you haven't watched this in the first 12 hours of it being uploaded. Um, so go watch my reaction to that. Uh, but then we've got Fool and Pilot with The Law. Um, huge synthwave collab here, and I mean, um, this is just what you'd expect as a track. It's awesome. It's got a kind of haunting choir sound with a rigid bass line and making for a very stylized and heavier synthwave track. And I enjoyed it a lot. Then we've got Odessa in The Rain. Another light house cut from Odessa that feels right like it fits right into the Last Goodbye album. Uh, they're kind of in this Last Goodbye era of sorts right now, kind of like a, a Maddie on Good Faith would be. or um, Yeah, so it's, uh, it, it, it's a pretty solid cut. Then we've got Imanu featuring Laya with Aching on a high. Um, another more down-to-earth, not as explosive track from Imanu, this one and the last one. Uh, I didn't mind the vocals uh, uh, too much, uh, but I did think they were a little airy and not uh, in a good way, I would say. All things considered, though, it's a pretty safe and uh, tame Imanu track that uh, sounds very clean. Then we've got R.L. Grime with Keep You close. Uh, the Play LP is finally out from R.L. Grime, the massive project, um, and this is just another solid track to an incredible lineup of songs from this album. Um, you, yeah, go listen to this album, the song, the, yeah, it, it's, it's all great. It's just a kind of um, another track on a giant uh, assembly line of fire. Uh, that's the best way to put this uh, fire song, so go listen to the R.L. Grime album now. And then we got Drulu with Strange Wave. More albums came out. So, so many albums came out. Uh, I guess four main ones, I would say. But uh, The Art of Change LP by Drulu is out now. His first solo debut. Um, first solo debut? I don't think that makes sense. But solo album from Drulu. Uh, yeah, the first one was an anthology album. It's a weird thing, but yeah. Uh, this track's a little bit more laid back and with lots of intentional empty spaces, as Drulu likes to do. But um, it's got an airy melody in a good way this time around. And uh, yeah, not too much, but uh, as it in title, as its title implies, it does sound like a bit of a strange wave, um, like an ocean wave of sorts, so... And uh, then we've got Chase and Status and Hadex featuring RD with Liquor and Cigarettes. Um, that kind of rhymed a little bit, I guess. But I uh, recently discovered Chase and Status uh, recently, and I honestly think they're one of the leading acts in drum and bass right now. Their kind of fusion of UK grime and DNB has a perfect place in the musical landscape right now. Um, it's a sound that reaches a bunch of different subcultures all kind of at once. And so, uh, really big fan of Chase and Status at this point. So go listen to their stuff uh, for sure. And the song is pretty solid. Then I've got Reaper and Calavania with Black Fires. I, I really love the vocals on this track. The I'm not really sure why so much, but it's the the um fan the fan the flames. Like I just it's been in my head all weekend and I've been loving it. And so production wise, it's your kind of classic unrelenting Reaper drum and bass, and um it's great. Uh, I also do love the kind of pre-drop mix-up before the last drop. It kind of feels like it's gonna go into side trance and doesn't, but uh, I did like it. They've got Boss Fight with Buckshots. Uh, I feel like this is a hybrid between kind of Boss Fight bass house and dubstep. Um, it's got the kind of classic dubstep sounds with a kind of lighter synth melody that you don't hear a ton from Boss Fight. Um, it still hits hard, but it's just a, a lighter sound, I should say. Um, yeah, not as gritty as kind of Boss Fight dubstep has been in the past, but I honestly think I like this better and it hits, hits stronger for me personally, so... Um, so many great tracks as we're moving along to Big Gigantic and Ahi with Oh Dang. Uh, some of the best sounding Big Gigantic I have heard in a hot minute. Um, it's got their classic brass instrumentation, but with a heavier emphasis on a more standard EDM production style with big drops and crunchy bass lines. Big fan of this. This feels like classic Big Gigantic. Heck yeah. Then we've got Antagonizer, who is actually the uh, alias of Away and Crywolf with Bow Down. Um, yeah, Away and Crywolf are some of my favorite kind of darker toned underground, like, EDM artists. They're not quite EDM. It's like this weird hybrid kind of, I'm not sure what to even call it. And um, yeah, this is their second release as this combined alias, and I've been loving the two tracks so far. Um, yeah, it's got the best parts of both producers here, and I love the brooding atmosphere of this track. Killer. So, yeah, go listen to that. And the top track of the week, my favorite, is Amnes with Call It Love. I have really turned into an Amnes stan as of late. Um, I just love his stuff. Um, it's kind of the, it's some of the most well-honed in kind of future-based liquid trap I've heard in years. Um, the constant support from the drum kit also keeps the pace going, and the sound design uh, is what begs you to stay. 
So, uh, big fan of Amnesty. Go listen to Call It Love today. But uh, yeah, that has been this week in Indian. Let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comments section below. Other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.